Do you remember? Remember what? Oh no, we must have forgotten. Who can possibly help us remember? In this real world learning project, Miss McCormick's class at Morrisburg Public School teach their new students the importance of November 11th, respecting everyone in our community and honoring those who fought for our freedom. Get ready to learn in Why Do We Wear Poppies? I think there's something I'm supposed to remember. Hmm. How can it already be almost November? Oh, yes, new students. Into the classroom walk Tiger and Snake. Let's welcome them with hugs and maybe some cake. Play soccer. We can play baseball. We can do math. We can read books. We can build rockets and fly to the moon. Or we can dance and sing a nice tune. There are so many things that we have to do. Just follow me and I'll show you. With help from Blake, see, I go place ten books. I his rocket. He becomes quite a menace. Snake and turtle slithers around, knocking tables, pencils, and things on the ground. All of the rockets learning about. Some of the students have started to shout. As quick as a web was Miss McCormick. She said, "Hands on top, that means stop." I think we should talk about class behavior. Care to explain, Mister Xavier? With listening ears and a quiet hands, we pay attention and learn all that we can. That means we don't screw up when our teacher is speaking. Why in the hallways, like mice, we are sneaking? Sorry, Miss McCormick. They said it's one. We didn't know that playtime was done. Now, class, November 11th is around the corner, so I think that some discussion might be in order. Can anyone explain why we remember this day? The poppies, the silence. Why do we do it this way? The Canadian Army fought so we could be free. They defended and protected to keep our country safe as can be. For a moment of silence, we stand quietly to show respect for people who fought for us to be free. On November 11th, we remember. Those who died in the war. A day where we can say thank you for those who came before. Tiger and Snake learn respect in many ways. They will always pause on remembering this day. The end. Now, let's discuss. What was this project about? What did you learn? Why does their project matter to your class, to your community? What did we miss? What else is important about Remembrance Day? Visit your local ward museum to find out how it impacted your community.
Imagining and reconciling that people from their communities died in World War II, and further, deconstructing how it impacts people in their communities now, can be difficult for young learners. In this story, Miss McCormick's kindergarten class at Morrisburg Public School attempt to explore November 11th through the lens of their classroom community. This real-world learning project focuses on a multi-thread theme of being respectful in our class and in our everyday lives. On one hand, they wanted to share what they've learned about how we act respectfully to our teachers and peers. On the other, they wanted to teach what they've learned about the importance of November 11th, respecting everyone in our community and honoring those who fought for our freedom. Working in a style reminiscent of Quentin Blake, our illustration team worked especially hard on this project. We spent extra time with this young class practicing reading in order to get the perfect narration, and our team of high school level co-op students helped bring the whole thing together, editing the audio in Soundtrap and animating in Canva. Thanks for stopping behind the scenes. You can check the full video on the Song Collab Studio YouTube or wherever you stream.